Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm excited today because, well, I'm excited, yes, because I, I mean, I'd wanted to go to Seagraph, but I didn't get a chance to go. However, I got an invite from NVIDIA to get a, a, like a sneak peek behind the scenes of what was going to be announced at uh, Seagraph among the highlights, you know, in for Omniverse. And many of you have seen me share some videos of Omniverse on my YouTube channel and talking about the amazing, amazing results that you can get from uh, real-time rendering, both for special effects, for character animations, for environment, you name it. There's so much that you can do with Omniverse and the fact that it's free is amazing, right? So I use the Unreal Engine for a lot of my short films, but uh, more and more lately, I've been using the Omniverse launcher to create kind of character animation and also simulations and things like that. So let's go through this video real quick so I can talk about some of the highlights, <laughs> right? The way you're able to render in Omniverse is amazing. You know, I love Octane Render and that's why I think when I see some of these images, it reminds me of the, those like some of the results from Octane. But this is the Omniverse in real time, you know, RTX. And uh, the, like, of course, if you have a really cool GPU, you're going to end up seeing way better results than you would if your, your graphics card was a little bit limited. I you have the uh, NVIDIA, you know, 3090 <laughs> that unicorn <laughs> we looked for that those cars for a long time but i was finally able to get one in a machine that was built by uh, puget systems it's a, it was a custom machine that i initially I mean it was designed for the unreal engine but it works really well with omniverse so i mean there's so much that you can use omniverse for like here they're showing some demonstrations of robotics and then for this to be rendered in real time is amazing look at that cloud simulation i am always looking for ways i can use these technologies to improve on my storytelling in my rendering of uh, simulations and cinematics but this is amazing this is an, uh, an engine that is free to use. And when I look at it, like some of these scenes right here, <laughs> I am blown away by how much I had they've advanced in cloud simulation. That's a big one because I've been waiting for many updates. I mean, multiple updates where I wanted to see how well it would work with characters from Character Creator 3 and of course, audio to face. They've done an amazing job of updating it. So it works very well. And one of the new things that they've added and they announced was in this second video is the ability to use uh, avatars as in uh, this uh, NVIDIA Om Omniverse Avatar Cloud Engine that you are able to use to drive this uh, avatar here who's like an assistant. So you speak into a microphone and ask the avatar questions and it's because it's in the cloud it has like a huge database it can draw from uh, gpu powered and they're able to respond so one of the things that i noticed of course i i was curious about the fidelity of the facial animation and i still noticed that some things that are uh, uh, like the lip movement is a little bit up and down and we know very well that uh, the meta humans have an incredibly intricate uh, facial rig so I'm looking forward to seeing improvements in that. But the fact that you can prompt it using a microphone and it can answer back. And this is inside of the Unreal Engine in real time. You can see that in the, the viewport. Now, this looks like uh, the Unreal Engine either 2.47 or 2.46 because the 5.0 inter, uh, interface looks different from that. So I'm looking forward to testing this out on Unreal Engine 5. And also to see where I can stretch this. I'm always curious about facial animation, as you notice, guys, that I'm always trying to find ways to make like these convincing facial uh, animations so that we can tell our, you know, convincing stories using the performance of an actor. So this is using AI, it looks like. And so I'm looking forward to, again, seeing an improvement in the AI having natural lip movement, natural eye movement, so that we get away from the uncanny valley as much as possible but this is amazing what they're doing and from what i learned when i asked a few questions was that uh, they are implementing a new system whereby before you had to export the data that you created using audio to face inside of a, like a usd file and you brought it into and applied it to a meta human but now you're going to be able to use something like a live link connection so you're able to use uh, audio to face as a live source 
into the Unreal Engine. And I can't wait for that. So there will be an update coming out for audio to face that makes it possible to do that. And then they showed us this other video uh, talking about NeuroVDB. <laughs> And uh, many of you, I mean, you know, you view, those of you who have used Niagara in Unreal Engine, that's real time, right? And NVIDIA has upped their game too in Omniverse. And that is uh, using uh, Neuro VD, VDB uh, to bring AI and GPU optimization to OpenDB. So that's amazing to see. Look at that. I mean, that's, that's incredible. For that to be in real time is mind blowing. All these simulations. Oof, <laughs> oh, there's so many ideas that come to mind when I see things like that. Like, especially like when I go back here and I look at uh, the water simulation, that is amazing. You know, I've done a video on uh, fluid flux and to see this in Omniverse is awesome because there are some things that I'm working on for my animated TV series, The Adventures of Mkosa Nancho, where I have like a stream and I want to be able to create like things like this. And uh, to be able to render that in real time, I mean, fire and smoke, like, it's amazing. It's really amazing. So, man, hats off to the NVIDIA, NVIDIA team and the way Omniverse is growing steadily. So for you guys who are at SIGGRAPH, I guess you get a chance to walk up to the booth and ask more questions. And uh, for me, you just got a, a glimpse using the, this uh, video, you know, like a look behind the scenes. And it's amazing what is coming on the scene. And I mean, look at that. So... VDB by nature, these volumetric clouds or uh, volumes uh, for smoke and clouds and things like that, they take up a lot of memory. So to see that Neuro VDB has managed to crunch this all into like 666 megabytes for this particular scene from 14.9 gigabytes, that is very, very impressive. That's almost a 100% improvement, which is incredible. You know, that means simulations are going to work much faster. And I think as technology gets smarter. I mean, of course, we as artists are going to push it even more, demanding for more and more <laughs> results. And real time is the, the key here, I think. Ultimately, like this scene right now, um, I mean, it's going to be amazing to be able to render in seconds uh, when you need like, a, when you're telling a story, because those are the things that uh, slow, that, slow us down as artists, that the time it takes to render a shot, like a scene or something, so that you can get an idea of if the story works or not. But this is an awesome, awesome improvement in that direction. And look at the memory print, footprint of this one. 25 megabytes from or like 1.5 megabytes. I mean, gigabytes, right? This is a gigabyte, so 1.5 <laughs> gigabytes. 1,491 megabytes compared to 25 megabytes. That is insane. That's amazing. That is amazing. So guys, again, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, please spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And thank you so much to the NVIDIA team for giving me an opportunity to take a look at this before uh, SIGGRAPH. In a way, I'm, uh, like, I feel like I was attending SIGGRAPH. But I wish you all an awesome time at SIGGRAPH. I can't wait to see what new technologies are coming out of that. Man, as always, guys, dare to dream big. Never give up on your dream. Please stay safe. And much love to each and every one of you. Ah, what an awesome time to be alive, right? And so, guys, if you don't know, if you haven't used uh, Omniverse, please take a, a moment, give it a chance, and download your download it. And once you download the launcher, you'll be able to have access to a lot of these applications that are part of uh, the Omniverse system. And I personally use it for character animation with iClone, and also to create a lip sync uh, animation for that I then take to the. Uh, Unreal Engine and then apply to the meta humans, but it can do way more than that. Way more. <laughs> All right, guys, please stay safe. Much love to each and every one of you. Uh, bye for now.